Good morning, everybody. Thanks for watching Riff with Cliff. Today's video, I'm gonna go over a couple pentatonic tricks that might help you out uh, in case you've never done this before. In case you're new to the pentatonic game and you wanna maybe step it up with some interesting sounding stuff. If you're interested in this kind of stuff, please do me a flavor. Be sure to like this channel and subscribe for more guitar related content. I've got here a track that I just made, which is kind of like a, a, a punk rock-esque drum beat and I'm just gonna do some pentatonic lead stuff. And the reason that I really wanna focus on pentatonics for this video is because pentatonic is relatively simple and something that a lot of people can identify with because it's just a box. If we have here the pentatonic box. Cool, so pentatonic, everybody knows the pentatonic. The first thing that I wanna take a look at in this video is actually something that I heard in some song somewhere, it must have been one of the Shredder dudes, maybe it was like Joe Satch or something like that, but he was using a pinch harmonic on every note. This first example is a really interesting um, technique that I thought came out with a pretty cool riff. <laughs> Sounds awesome. It sounds really cool like that. All right, trick number two, use the boomer bend or the pentatonic boomer bend. It sounds really cool. I like to use it a lot because it just sounds like a train and it just sounds kind of mean. If you don't know what that is, it is the, on the G string and on the B string, bending it just like this. It is a classic technique that is used so often in blues and rock. If you give those notes a little bit of vibrato, you can get some interesting stuff. Even add the high E for some really extra texture and flavor. Cool, it's all about the bends and that kind of stuff. I have a video on that too, you should check that out because uh, that's good stuff too. But listen to how this same track sounds if I do more of the boomer bends instead of the pinch harmonic kind of stuff. That sounds pretty damn good. Quick hammer-ons and quick pull-offs. That is the key. That is the key to the shred, the art of shred. And that is the missing link. Listen, this kind of stuff right here. Or this. All of that stuff is juicy and should be used often. And the way that we do that, we simply take the box of the pentatonic we can hammer on and pull off any of those notes. Let's take the 12th fret on the G string, and then we're going to pull off onto the 10th fret on the G string, and then we're going to go to the 12th fret on the D string, and pull off onto the 10th fret on the D string. Do that back and forth. Or we could do this pentatonic hammer on pull off, which sounds wicked. Take the 13th fret on the B string and pull off to the 10th fret. And then go to the 13th fret on the G string and pull off onto the 10th fret on the B string. You're gonna alternate between the strings. You only hit the one note on the G. 
And that sounds really cool, especially in this pickup. Let's put that in context with the song and let's see how those kind of things sound. Ooh, look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. <laughs> So let me know, did any of these help you out? Let me know in the comments if you did get some help from this video or some ideas. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Share it with your friends. Maybe they can learn some cool pentatonic stuff too. This is some of the stuff that I've been doing lately and it sounds really, really fun and really neat. Thank you again for watching. My name's Cliffhanger. I will see you guys the next time that I see you. Peace.